hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition and we will call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is 30 second long and background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option and hit on Title Save Action. Now I am going to select my text tool and for the font I am going to choose Oswald. The reason why I am going to choose this font because if you see this font properly, suppose if I am typing any text over here, as you guys can see this uh, kind of fonts are quite uh, you know uh, vertical in format. So that would be easy for us to stretch it. So let's make this fit and instead of bold, I am going to choose medium version of this font. So let's select this font and we will type our first reference text which is going to be move. So let's select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center or I think instead of move, let's type bold, that could be nice. So let's select this and let's increase the font size somewhere around let's say 280 and then select this, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center, go to the align tab, align it horizontally like this. Okay. Now select this and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and I'm going to move this downwards somewhere around like this. Select both of them and let's move them over here. Let's move this one over here. Select this one and move this one over here. Select both of them by holding shift and let's try to adjust them properly at the center. Now these are going to be my reference layers. So simply select all of them by hitting Ctrl A. Press T for opacity and let's make this opacity 20 and we will lock these layers. Now I'm going to select my text tool again and I'm going to type B alphabet only. So select this B, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center and I'm going to adjust it properly on this one and then hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and we will name it as O and now I'll select this and by holding shift I'll move this over here. Hit Ctrl D, move this over here and let's uh, type A like this. Simply move this over here and let's try to adjust it. Hit Ctrl D, simply move this over here and let's change this to D. Okay, like this we will get. And now uh, let's uh, select all of them, uh, not all of them, but select this B, right click, create and shape from text. Select this O, right click, create, shape from text. Select this L, right click, create, shape from text. Select this D, right click, create, shape from text. And now we are going to select all the text layers over here like this by holding control and we are going to delete that. So now uh, we don't have text layers but we have this outlines. Now simply uh, go in the search bar and type path over here so it will automatically show us the path options and we need to create keyframe on their path so create path on D uh, on L O and B B B okay and now we will hit U so we can see only path keyframes then uh, go to around one second I'm going to select this let's say this B over here and now uh, we will again create path keyframes on each and every one so let's select this B and we will select this keyframes so we can see this kind of cut over here and now I'm going to select my selection tool over here and then I'm going to select this much portion so I'll select like this and by holding shift I'm going to simply bring this downwards one need, thing you need to understand that I will hit ctrl z after selection if you see we have handles for it so whenever you are going to stretch it make sure that you are not gonna supposed to touch those handles but this point so uh, if you are confusing between those so what you can do you can simply select those keyframes then select the portion that you want to stretch and over here as you guys can see at this point we don't have any handles so by holding shift you can move this one over here so in this case i'm going to move this over here like this okay then i'm going to select this o let's select this much portion uh, we will lock this b so uh, and this alphabets also so we cannot touch that so i'm going to select this and this keyframes 
I'll select this much portion and I'll bring this over here okay let's try to bring this over here yeah this looks good to me then I'm going to sorry uh, not uh, select this let's unlock this and we will lock this select this L keyframes I'm going to select this much portion and I'll bring this letter over here like this okay then select this D we will unlock this select this and I'm going to select this much portion and I'll move this over here okay now let's make this fit and if you see this stuff now we will get something like this then go to around two seconds over here and we will select those let's unlock this we will select those first keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v select this keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v select this hit ctrl c ctrl v select this hit ctrl c ctrl v okay so we will get this kind of animation and now i'm going to select all of them and over here i'm going to choose red color and i'm going to hit ctrl d and i'll bring them at the top and over here i'm going to choose yellow color i'll hit u and i'm going to delete those keyframes we don't need that and simply press p for position and we will move them downwards over here like this and now i'll hit u i'll go to the last keyframes over here uh, which means over here and i'm going to create keyframe on their respective path over here like this or uh, i think we need to uh, delete that we don't need to do this path over here uh, let's go somewhere around over here where they are stitching it I'm going to select this much keyframes and I'll move them over here then go to the start and now we, we need to start to stretch this uh, alphabets up to here so let's do that let's uh, uh, lock all of these layers we don't need to touch that and we will lock all of these layers also so we can focus on this B and now create those path and now uh, for this one I'm going to select this much portion and by holding shift I'll move them over here then we will focus on O so i'll select this i'll create keyframes over here select this much portion and move this o over here then lock this unlock this select this uh, create one keyframe at path select this much portion and let's move this over here like this then lock this unlock this create keyframes select this much portion and let's move this over here like this okay so this is ready then go to the last keyframe over here and now i'm going to copy first keyframe so hit ctrl c ctrl v let's unlock this select this hit ctrl c ctrl v okay so now if you see this properly we will get something like this okay now let's unlock all of these layers and now uh, we don't need those extra layers which is our text layer so i'm going to delete them and now uh, let's select all of them and now hit f9 to easy knees those keyframes so we will get something like this then go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'm going to move one handle over here and one handle over here so if you see uh, we will get something like this now we need to do certain changes over here i'm going to select this b and this b by holding control I'll press Ctrl Shift C and I'm going to call it as B like this and move all attributes into the new composition. Same procedure I'll follow for this O and this O. Press Ctrl Shift C. Let's call it as O and hit OK. Then select this L and this L. Press Ctrl Shift C. Let's call it as L. Then select this D and this D. Press Ctrl Shift C and let's call it as D. And now we will open this B over here and we will hit U then we will go to the last keyframe which is at two seconds and i'll hit n over here like this so after that uh, it's going to be in the form of loop and over here make sure to uh, your you know uh, pointer should be like this not over here but over here work area simply right click and trim form to work area so now if you see uh, the your duration of this is up to two seconds only then same procedure we will follow for this O also so double click hit U go to the last keyframe hit N right click trim com to work area same procedure for this L also hit U N right click trim com to work area 
same procedure for D, hit U and right click trim comp to work area. So now uh, what will happen that uh, we have this kind of stuff and now uh, what I want that this should be in a continuous form. So for that what we can do over here. So simply go to the last uh, position which means over here. Uh, I'm going to select all of them right click go to the time and let's uh, enable time enable remapping like this so zoom out a little bit and make sure that there are not any keyframes on the last and now uh, if you see over here we will get this keyframe we don't want that so i'm going to create another keyframes over here and i'll delete those keyframes okay after that you cannot see any animation because for that we need to apply loop expression so alt click on this stopwatch and type loop out expression on it okay and simply hit ctrl a to select this expression and hit ctrl c to copy alt click on this one hit ctrl v alt click on this one hit ctrl v alt click on this one and hit ctrl v so now if you see we will get this animation continuously in the form of loop but over here i want some alternations so for that what we can do i'm gonna go up to around 20 seconds and then i'll move this o over here so we will get something like this so i'm taking the distance of 20 to 20 frames so let's go over 1.10 frames select this move this over here go to 2 select this and move this over here now select all of them hold alt open bracket i mean uh, open square bracket so to trim this out and go to the start and simply move them over here okay so now as you guys can see we will get this kind of animation now simply select all of them press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and we will call it as text animation and hit ok then press ctrl y to create one solid background and i'm going to select this and i'll bring this downwards i'll select this i'll hit ctrl d and i'm going to move this over here i'll hit ctrl d and i'm going to move this over here like this then again uh, this one is the main one uh, so i'm going to change the color of this one to yellow uh, then select both the both of them hit ctrl d let's bring them at the top hit ctrl d let's bring them at the down like this and uh, let's select this uh, anyone uh, let's say hit ctrl d and let's try to bring this in the middle hit ctrl d and let's try to bring this downwards like this and then select this this and this but sorry uh, let's select this one this one and this one uh, if it's not like that then uh, you need to select this from here okay so as you guys can see these three are over here so hit ctrl d again and let's bring them over here like this then uh, after that uh, we need someone from here also so select this uh, the, uh, this and this and hit ctrl D and simply move them over here also okay so let's make this fit and now if you see we will get continuous animation and now I'm going to select all of these layers press T for opacity and let's decrease their opacity like this okay so we will get something like this okay and now uh, if you want then what you can do you can simply select all of them then go to around 10 frames hold uh, not 10 frames but let's say 5 frames hold alt close bracket right click uh, and keyframe assistance sequence layers and hit ok so you will get something like this and let's increase the duration of it like this and let's go to the start and i'm going to move them over here so we, what will happen we will get alternate in their animation also and now because if you see over inside this any text animation the two is my final uh, uh, point so after two it's going to be in the form of loop so even if i do this procedure over here if i go to around let's say two seconds and i'll hit n i'll still get all of this animation in the form of loop so this is how you can create this kind of text animation inside of After Effects.